All right, shalom, y'all. Bashim, y'all. Shah Barakata. This is GMS for Dummies, and uh, the the um, the the title of this topic is um, uh, the prophets are likened unto barbarians, because <clears throat> basically um, we have this stigma about us, the Hebrew Israelites, who go out uh, week in and week out, who prophesy on the corners. Uh, you know, we uh, rant and rave with evil and um, you know, we're cursing and, you know, curses not in the Bible and we're not, and uh, we're just, uh, we're just uh, twisting things and whatnot. And, you know, we are mad, and, you know, so basically uh, the uh, basis of this lesson is just uh, to my best of my ability to uh, get you to understand why we do the things we do. Uh, and because um, why we do the things we do uh, being that we're in the times that we're in. So why do we do the things we do? And I'm going to start with Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13 and 1. All right. Uh, and this is Isaiah 13 and 1. And it says, The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. It says, <clears throat> Lift ye up a banner. Now that banner is the Bible. And that's basically what we as prophets um, uh, do week in and week out. We lift up the banner of the Bible. Why? We uh, we condemn the uh, the wickedness in the society. You know, from from homosexuality to uh, uh, to uh, society society's uh, norms. Uh, being a Democrat Republican, we condemn that because that's not of the Lord. You know, that's uh, that's of uh, uh, Satan. <clears throat> All right, and I'm gonna continue. It says, upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them. It says, shake the hand <clears throat> that they may go into the gates of the nobles. And really, that's who we address it. We, we prophesy against, uh, like the scriptures say, we prophesy, prophesy against kingdoms and great nations. And that's who we really uh, uh, <clears throat> basically reaching are the uh, elites that run this country and, and run the fabric of this society. So it's beyond you, you people that the you normal people that lived a uh, uh, day to day job, you know, nine to five job who, uh, you know, just work, uh, you know, for wages and you know taking care of your family. This is beyond you, you know. <clears throat> so I'm gonna continue. It says, um, shake the hands, shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. <clears throat> It says, I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger. It says, even them that rejoice in my highness. And it's talking about the messengers of the Most High, which go uh, all the way from the angels, the mighty ones of the angels, and all the way down to the prophets. Those brothers that's uh, through sincerity and truth um, out there speaking um, about the downfall of America and setting up that banner, uh, which is the scriptures. <clears throat> My next scripture uh, <clears throat> is uh, Isaiah 62, 62 and 6. Um, and, it, and it says, uh, Isaiah 62 and 6, it says, uh, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. And it's talking about the nation of Israel. It says, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. See, the Lord set us up. The watchmen are the brothers that's um, that's in the truth. You gotta be Hebrew, Israelite, know your nationality, you know the Lord name Yahweh Shah, know God name Yahweh, and out there preaching the gospel that the elders, through the Spirit of the Most High, uh, is able and uh, to 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 teach us. So uh, I'm gonna continue. It says, "Which shall never hold their peace," and we in a time where. Um, which I'm uh, edified with the uh, scriptures. We're in a time of, of war. We're not in a time of peace, so we don't hold our time of peace. Um, you can't bring um, you can't bring sugar cookies to the to the forefront of you know a battle. You know what I'm saying? And offer peace. That's not that's not how you uh, that's not how you get your point across, or how you know it doesn't relate to that time basically. So I'm gonna continue. It says. Um, Ye that <clears throat> ye that make mention of the Lord keep not silence. 
So those who know the Lord and uh, talk about the Lord and say, keep not silence. And you, uh, and it's a perfect example, you, you uh, niggas in the church, man, y'all keep silence. Y'all got gag orders on y'all. Y'all under 501c3 charter. Um, <clears throat> and basically, y'all uh, y'all pervert the truth. So this ain't even pertaining to y'all. It's pertaining to those prophets that's out there on the highways and byways um, um, setting that standard. It says, and give him no rest. See? It, it, who no rest? It's talking about the elites, man, that run this country and that um, create the way of life that, that they establish around the world, their democracy. <clears throat> it says, give him no rest till he established until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And Jerusalem <clears throat> is the tribes of Israel, the 12 tribes, which the Lord, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, is bringing back together through the truth. And this is how you get weeded out, and this is how you get brought in. <clears throat> and uh, verses, uh, <clears throat> Slaki, uh, yeah, basically that's it on that verse. Um, bear with me. This is Isaiah 58.1. To further let you know what type of spirit you're supposed to be in and what type of um, <clears throat> character we have. Because the prophets are likened unto barbarians. That's why everybody got a problem with <clears throat> They can't. They, um, and, and that's how society is. Um, they have uh, basically taken the, 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 uh, the spirit off of people so they can be uh, in the love spirit. <clears throat> This is Isaiah 58 and 1. It says, Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. That's why we're loud. And you might think it's obnoxious. But the Lord actually gave an order for us to do this. It says, And shew my people their transgression. And we um, we mainly get on you two-thirds of, of Israel, you blacks, Latins, and Native Americans, because y'all don't want to hearken to the Most High. Y'all want to stay in y'all wickedness and stay in this, uh, um, this democracy. Crap Republican American uh, society and American dream. <clears throat> so we prophesy against y'all and we lift up a voice like a trumpet unto y'all and unto the elites that run this country and that um, set that wicked standard all over the world. It says, Shoot my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. So, and that's what we out there doing. So, um, that concludes that. And um, uh, this is uh, Jeremiah. One and four, because um, you might come across people that say, um, "Well, who gave you the right, or who gave you the authority to, you know, come out here curse everybody out, or whatever, you know?" Um, and quite frankly, the answer is the Lord gave us the authority. So uh, this is Jeremiah one and four. It says, "Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee." And it's talking about the elect, and um, and then that's another thing, it's another topic. I don't want to go too far off, but the Lord don't, you don't choose the Lord, the Lord chooses you. And this is this is firm proof. It says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. You see that? <clears throat> it says, then said I, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. And, and before we all came into truth, we were like that at one point in time. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. <clears throat> and that's what the Lord is doing. He said, Lift up a standard against Babylon. And it says, Prophesy against the wicked. <clears throat> okay, um, it says, For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and what's Whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces. And that's why we hard and our faces are firm. It says, For I am with thee to deliver thee, said, said the Lord. Then Yahweh put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in, that, in thy mouth. And the words are this book. <clears throat> and what entail, I mean, and, and what it holds. You know, uh, it says, um, uh, verses uh, 10, because the Lord touched our mouth with the truth. And the truth, uh, uh, the truth hurts, basically, what they say. It says, see, I have this day set thee over the nations, 
and over the kingdoms. <clears throat> to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Now, we we pulling down the lies in this uh, the, um, the society. Uh, whether it be Christ is white or his name is Jesus Christ, that's not biblical. And um, <clears throat> And to destroy it, so we're destroying those lies as well as pulling them down, and to throw down, <clears throat> and to build and to plant, and we planting the truth, and building the truth, and building those brothers uh, that sincerely come, and uh, and are part of the elect, you know. <clears throat> but everybody ain't a part of it, part of the elect. <clears throat> All right, now that concludes that, and um, just got a few more scripts. Try to speed it up. It said, uh, it said, this is um, Ecclesiastes 3, you know, just to furthermore prove that what time, we, we living in dire time. This is Ecclesiastes uh, 3 and 1, to everything there is a, a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So, um, whether, whether, <clears throat> whether you like it, believe it or not, um, the Lord has set up his prophets in these last days. To be stern and to be likened unto barbarians unto you fools out here so uh the lord gets his point across and and the reason that you're offended is because you lack the understanding and the spirit because they took it away through this uh, american philosophy and this love spirit so uh this is verse 8 ecclesiastes 3 and 8 it says a time to love a time to hate a time of war and a time of peace and, we, and quite frankly, we're not in a time of peace, or neither are we in a time of love. So, um, I'll just continue. Uh, this is, uh, <clears throat> and the reason why we're not in a time of love is because the white man is ruling. The so-called the so -called white man, who, who is the devil, that the Bible speaks of. And we come to prophesy against him and all his wickedness. <clears throat> Because the Lord is coming to establish His kingdom. Now, I don't want to talk too much because I'm, I'm gonna have to uh, edify that with the scriptures. <clears throat> and this is a uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two, verses eight. Slocky, bear with me. Check out the minutes I got. 